if you know me at all, yesterday in our discussion of Marxism as an international relations theory, you were probably waiting for me to be like, but wait, it's not all about wealth and the economy. I'll do it now, okay? But wait, it's not all about wealth and economy. I'm Rebecca Farnham. It's probably to be back in today. An alternative. Shocking, I know. Constructivism. But wait, we've talked about that before. True. We did. If you missed it, we talked about the idea of constructivism in a session on social constructivism versus environmental determinism, whether or not, you know, society creates thoughts and ideas in us more than environmental influences and factors and you know, kind of forces its way into humans. Anyway. So yes, we did talk about constructivism in terms of ecological and human environment interactions. Here it is again as an international relations theory. And constructivism claims that a lot of the, way, the ways that states interact with each other are the result not of some kind of biologically bound, forced human nature or, or something external and absolute about world politics, um, but instead the result of um, history and human society. International relations are a given form um, by ongoing person-to-person, people-to-people, human and social interactions. States only exist because people tell them so and people make them so and create them and go along with them. Uh, so constructivists would be quick to point out that not so long ago in human history, states were like not the big thing. It was empires, it was city-states, it was tribes, it was people. Structures and norms in international relations that govern how states interact with each other are developed by shared ideas and human actions rather than by material forces somehow. Identities and interests along with that also come from society rather than being inserted on them by nature. Um, so a state, you know, wants money because its people want money, for example. Now, of course, the counter to that from like an, a less constructivist would be like, yes, except the people want money because of human nature, because blah, 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 because that's what everybody needs. Probably with completely that tone of voice and look on their face too. <laughs> but so, whereas constructivists say, well, no, that's shaped because of the way discourses um, and advertising and the way we construct identities and we do in fact have control over that as a society. So constructivists might, uh, from a scholarly standpoint, examine the goals, um, the fears, the cultures, an identity, um, the facets of a state um, and try to see why they exist, where they come from, looking at the origins of assumptions and beliefs and ideas and what's, what helps to perpetuate them. Um, some people see constructivism as an alternative to realism or liberalism, um, whereas otherwise other people um, think that it actually is just like an additional way to study or, you know, you can be a constructivist realist or a constructivist liberalist, right? Um, so you might have a lot of the facets of a, a realist and say no states are only after power. Um, and, you know, you can kind of say, and that is because there is some external force that, you know, forces power to be what's good and right and wanted and desirable. Right. Or you can be kind of more on the constructivist side of things and say, states want power because as a society we have created a system in which power is how you, you know, have control and have security. Right? There are other ways of creating world systems and structures. Okay? So constructivists say, it's all about society and history and we have to figure that out, which, you know, in my mind is optimistic. <laughs> Because it's as if there's something about the world system that we don't like, we can fix it, right? And maybe question where it came from and try and tweak it a little bit, where someone who's, you know, kind of really caught up in ideas of forced human nature or external reality or absoluteness, you know, about, the, the, you know, the way the system works, you know, it's kind of like, well, yep, that's just the way it is, tough beans. Um, so I certainly tend to lean more on the constructive side of things in case you hadn't figured that one out yet. Um, but that being said, yes, of course, <laughs> to go completely one way or the other is in fact to create for yourself a false dichotomy, right? I mean, we are influenced and influenced by our surroundings, <laughs> and that's okay. And we are influenced by and influence our bodies and our cultures, and yada, yada, yada. So there's definitely a give and take here. Um, but yeah, so that's been international relations in a week really quickly. There's a lot more to discuss, so we might do more next week, who knows.